expense rule. The expense rule says that if there is any increase in the expenditure, then the same should be debited. Whereas if there is any decrease in the expenditure, it shall be credited. For instance, if a business purchases goods for trading, then the purchase of goods would be treated as an expenditure and such expenditure shall be debited. If it purchases by paying cash, the two components in this transaction would be purchase of goods which is an expenditure and payment of cash which is an asset. When we purchase goods, we should look at the intention behind that purchase. The intention in this case is to trade. Therefore, when the goods are purchased, the expense will increase. Since expense is increasing and the rule says that if expense increases, it should be debited, we will debit purchase of goods. Likewise, when we purchase goods by paying cash, cash is decreasing since cash is an asset and the asset rule says if there is any decrease in the asset, the same shall be credited. Therefore, we will credit cash. Let's take another example wherein we will purchase goods from Mr. A on credit. In this case, the two components involved are one is of course the purchase of goods which is an expenditure since the intention here is to resell for a profit. The second component in this case would be the, the credit purchase from A which in effect would be the business's liability because the business has purchased goods from A but it hasn't yet repaid the money. Therefore in this case the general entry would be debit increase in expenditure that is purchase and credit increase in liability that is the creditor's account or Mr. A's account. Now if you observed initially we said if there is any increase in expenditure it shall be debited. But what if there is any decrease in expenditure? Can expense ever decrease? Yes, there are instances where expense also decreases. For example, let's say we purchased goods from Mr. A. But out of the total of goods purchased, we return some portion of the goods. When we do so, the liability comes down as well as the expenditure. Because instead of the original purchase, now our purchase has come down to the extent of goods returned by us. Likewise, even the liability would have come down because the amount owed to Mr. A will also be less now on account of returned goods. In that case, the general entry would be debit A's account because there is decrease in liability and credit purchase returns. Instead of creating purchase, to identify the returns, we will credit purchase returns account, which in effect is nothing but decrease in expenditure.